rather rude awakening for some Southampton residents this morning. We think it may well have been a mini tornado that ran across the Highfield area of the town. It certainly caused quite a bit of damage with the uh, gusty winds, and it was tied in with a band of very heavy rain that ran across much of southern England during the course of the morning, brought almost eight millimetres of rain, in fact, in just the space of one hour to Boscombe Down. Things rather quieter, though, over the next 36 hours at least, as we find an area of high pressure building in from the west, certainly giving most of us a fine day, I think, during the course of tomorrow. But then on Wednesday, uh, later on Wednesday and through into Thursday, we start to find the next batch of wet and windy weather pushing in from the west, and certainly the second half of the week, I think, a return to that very unsettled weather. To the rest of this afternoon, so not that many showers around across so much of England and Wales, just one or two feeding in off the Irish Sea, across the Cheshire Plain, perhaps into uh, northern parts of the Midlands. Some heavier showers, though, for Northern Ireland, particularly up through into western Scotland, where the showers are going to be quite heavy over the uh, high ground, above about uh, 300 metres, where they will actually fall as snow. Fairly chilly generally across the uh, British Isles this afternoon, 11 or 12 degrees about the best, and a fairly brisk wind for most of us too. But that wind gradually dying away as we go through the evening and overnight across these more southern areas. The showers gradually dying out too, so we'll end up with fairly clear skies, I think, across many parts of England and Wales, and that means it is going to turn rather cold. Certainly a, a touch of frost on the cards for much of these uh, more southern areas, all the way up the eastern side too, and eastern Scotland perhaps seeing a touch of frost with clearing skies during the second half of the night. Across the west, though, still those showers packing in, so here temperatures staying just that few degrees higher. Looking ahead into tomorrow, I think a fine day for most of us under the area of high pressure. It's going to be extending across from the west, quite a bit of sunshine, in fact, particularly for more southern and eastern areas. Still one or two showers in the northwest for a time, but these eventually, I think, dying out later on in the day. The cloud beginning to thicken up, though, from the southwest. Eventually, some rain coming in across Northern Ireland and the southwest of England, perhaps uh, just after dark. But then through into Thursday, that rain crossing most areas, a mixture of sunny intervals and showers falling on behind. That's the weather. Bye for now.